Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. And today we're going to take a look at the 50 highest selling 1980s baseball cards from the Fanatics Weekly Auction that ended on September 1st. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1989 Salem Dodgers team issue Mike Piazza minor league rookie card number 25. This pre-rookie was in a PSA 8 that received 12 bids and it sold for $28.80. Up next at number 49 is this 1981 Topps Neil Allen, card number 322. This was a PSA 10 that received 7 bids, and it also sold for $28.80. Coming in at number 48 is this 1988 p &L Cape Cod League Frank Thomas, card number 126. This pre-rookie was in a BGS 9.5 that received 9 bids, and it sold for $30. Up next at number 47 is this 1987 Topps Tiffany Tony Gwynn, card number 530. This was an SGC 9.5 that received 12 bids, and it also sold for $30 even. Coming in at number 46 is this 1987 Pro Cards Tidewater Tides Dwight Gooden, card number 2502. This was a PSA 8 that received 14 bids, and it sold for $31.20. Up next at number 45 is this 1981 Topps Dick Tidrow, card number 352. This was a PSA 10 that received 8 bids, and it also sold for $31.20. Coming in at number 44 is this 1988 Topps Tom Glavin Rookie, card number 779. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 12 bids, and it sold for $34.80. We're back to the early 1980s at number 43 with this 1982 Topps Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie, card number 21. This was a PSA 7 that received 11 bids, and it sold for $36 even. Up next at number 42 is this 1988 Star Charlotte Rangers Juan Gonzalez Minor League Rookie, card number 8. This pre-rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 12 bids, and it sold for $37.20. Coming in at number 41 is this 1989 Bowman Tiffany Andre Dawson, card number 298. This was a PSA 10 that received 10 bids, and it sold for $38.40. We're sticking to the same set at number 40, with this 1989 Bowman Tiffany Allen Trammell, card number 105. This was a PSA 10 that received 10 bids, and it sold for $40.80. Coming in at number 39 is this 1987 Topps Future Stars Bo Jackson Rookie, card number 170. This was a PSA 9 that received 9 bids, and it also sold for just over $40. Up next at number 38 is this 1989 SCD Baseball Pocket Price Guides Mark McGuire, Card number one. This was a PSA 10 that received 11 bids, and it sold for $42.
Coming in at number 37 is this 1989 Don Russ Randy Johnson rookie, card number 42. This rated rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 9 bids, and it sold for $42. Up next at number 36 is this 1989 Bowman Tiffany Brady Anderson, card number 18. This was a PSA 10 that received 7 bids, and it also sold for $42 even. Coming in at number 35 is this 1985 Don Russ Kirby Pocket Rookie, card number 438. This rookie was in a PSA 9 that received 7 bids, and it sold for $43.20. Make that back-to-back -back rookies at number 34, with this 1985 Topps Oral Hershiser rookie, card number 493. This was an SGC 9.5 that received 10 bids, and it sold for $48.00. Coming in at number 33 is this 1983 TCMA Tidewater Tides Daryl Strawberry Minor League Rookie, card number 28. This was a PSA 8 that received 5 bids, and it also sold for $48 even. Up next at number 32 is this 1981 TCMA Wade Boggs Minor League Rookie, Card number 15. This pre-rookie was in a PSA 7 that received 14 bids, and it sold for just over $50. Coming in at number 31 is this 1987 Topps Mini League Leaders Don Mattingly, card number 65. This was a PSA 10 that received 12 bids, and it sold for $55.20. And we're back to the early 1980s to kick off the top 30 of today's list with this 1981 Topps World Series Phillies Beat Royals in 6, card number 403. This was a PSA 10 that received 12 bids, and it sold for $55.20. The big unit's back at number 29, with this 1989 Fleer Randy Johnson rookie, card number 381. This ad blocked out variation was in a PSA 10 that received 11 bids, and it sold for $56.40. Up next at number 28 is this 1984 Borden Dairy Red Stickers Eric Davis Minor League Rookie. This pre-rookie was in a SGC 9 that received 15 bids, and it sold for $57.60. Coming in at number 27 is this 1981 Topps Mike Vale card number 471. This was a PSA 10 that received 11 bids, and it also sold for $57.60. We welcome a couple newcomers to the list at number 26, with this 1981 Topps RBI Leaders featuring Cecil Cooper and Mike Schmidt, card number 3. This was a PSA 10 that received 11 bids, and it sold for $64.80. Coming in at number 25 is this 1981 Topps Ricky Henderson, card number 261. This second year Ricky was in a PSA 9 that received 10 bids, and it sold for $67.20. Up next at number 24 
is this 1986 Topps traded Bo Jackson rookie, card number 50T. This was a PSA 9 that received 17 bids, and it sold for $72 even. Coming in at number 23 is this 1985 Chong Modesto A's Mark McGuire minor league rookie, card number 17. This pre-rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 18 bids, and it sold for just short of $80. Coming in at number 22 is this 1983 Topps Wade Boggs rookie, Card number 498. This rookie was in a PSA 9 that received 10 bids, and it sold for $81.60. Coming in at number 21 is this 1981 Nashville Sounds team issue Don Mattingly minor league rookie. This pre-rookie was in a PSA 8 that received 25 bids, and it also sold for $81.60. Make that back-to-back -back appearances to kick off the top 20 with this 1989 Bowman Tiffany Don Mattingly, card number 176. This was a PSA 10 that received 12 bids, and it sold for $88.80. Up next at number 19 is this 1986 Memphis Chick Silver Bo Jackson, card number 28. This minor league rookie was in a PSA 8 that received 12 bids, and it sold for $91.20. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 18. With this 1986 Memphis Chicks Gold Bo Jackson, card number 28. This was a PSA 8 that received 25 bids, and it sold for $105.60. Coming in at number 17 is this 1989 Bowman Tiffany John Smoltz rookie, card number 266. This was a BGS 9.5 that received 24 bids, and it sold for $108. Up next at number 16 is this 1981 Topps Kurt Gibson Rookie, card number 315. This was a PSA 9 that received 9 bids, and it sold for $115.20. Make that three straight newcomers to the list at number 15 with this 1981 Topps Nolan Ryan, card number 240. This was a PSA 9 that received 12 bids and it sold for $117.60. Up next at number 14 is this 1981 TCMA Cal Ripken Jr. Minor League Rookie, card number 15. This pre-rookie was in a PSA 7 that received 15 bids, and it sold for $120. Coming in at number 13 is this 1981 Topps Jim Palmer, card number 210. This was a PSA 10 that received 18 bids, and it sold for $264. The Kid makes his first appearance on today's list at number 12 with this 1989 Don Russ Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 33. This rated rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 28 bids and it sold for $300 even. Coming in at number 11 is this 1983 Topps Nolan Ryan, card number 360. 
this was a CGC 10 that received 23 bids and it sold for $312. And we welcome another newcomer to the list to kick off the top 10 with this 1981 Topps Joe Morgan card number 560. This was a PSA 10 that received 15 bids and it sold for $312. Up next at number 9 is this 1989 Topps American Baseball Ryan Sandberg Card number 67. This was a PSA 10 that received 25 bids and it sold for $372. Coming in at number 8 is this 1981 Topps Allen Trammell, card number 709. This was a PSA 10 that received 23 bids and it sold for $420. Up next at number 7 is this 1984 Topps Don Mattingly Rookie, card number 8. This was a PSA 10 that received 15 bids and it sold for $810. And we get one of our weekly regulars at number 6 with this 1980 Topps Ricky Henderson Rookie, card number 482. This rookie was in a PSA 9 that received 24 bids, and it sold for $1,440. Alright guys, and before we get to the top 5, I did pull aside 5 quick bonus cards to share with you today. We'll start off with this 1981 Topps Nolan Ryan card number 240. This was an SGC 8 that received 5 bids, and it sold for $27.60. For a bonus card of the big unit, we get this 1989 Don Russ, the Rookies, Randy Johnson Rookie, card number 43. This was a PSA 10 that received 9 bids, and it also sold for $27.60. I wanted to find at least one player that missed the top 50, and I ran across this 1987 Don Russ, David Cohn Rookie, card number 502. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 6 bids, and it sold for $26.40. For our fourth bonus card, I found a card that's not up for auction very often with this 1987 Topps Glossy Send-Ins Berry Bonds, card number 30. This was a BCCG 10 that received 10 bids, and it sold for $25.20. And for our fifth and final bonus card, I found this 1984 Topps Cal Ripken Jr. card number 490. This was a PSA 9 that received 8 bids and it sold for $18 even. And we get another one of our weekly regulars to kick off the top 5 with this 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card number 1. This star rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 26 bids and it sold for just over two grand. Up next at number four is this 1986 Topps traded Barry Bonds rookie, card number 11T. This was a BGS gold label 10 that received 51 bids and it sold for $2,640. Coming in at number 3 is this 1984 Don Russ Don Mattingly Rookie, card number 248. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 21 bids, and it sold for $3,360. The kids back at number two with this 1989 Bowman Tiffany Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card number 220. This was a BGS 9.5 that received 35 bids 
and it sold for $3,720. And topping off today's list at number one is this 1982 Topps Traded Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie, card number 98T. This was a PSA 10 that received 40 bids, and it sold for $5,040. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.